Hi, I'm Sarah Jane Fawcett and I help busy creatives thrive. And in this self-care, you know, I've been hearing a lot of that and just being in isolation. So this is self-care in isolation and my two tips that have helped me with that because I don't know if you're like me, but I am somebody who, if I have a lot of time on my hands, I am going to want to fill that with projects and with all of these things that I feel like I should be doing because I feel obligated and pressure to do those things, right? And just because I have time on my hands. But here are some things that have helped me not only, yes, prepare for, you know, the next season, whatever that is, but also rest. And that's really important too. So number one, I don't overload my day with projects. So actually, this is something that I've been doing. Um, I take one thing and I circle it. See this little per, this little cloud bubble? So I'll just take one thing from a wish list, not a to-do list, a wish list, and I'm going to put that in there. And that's the one thing I'm gonna focus on doing for the whole day. And then I also jot down other things that are on my mind just to get it out of my mind. But if I do that thing, if I finish with that thing, great. If not, all right. And then, you know, or if I just need a break from it, move on to something else. Or, you know, if I'm done and I, I need to rest, I'll go watch a movie. There's no judgment. There's no guilt in that. So that's something that really has been helping me, just having one thing to focus on in a day. And just doing that. You can even do it as one thing to focus on in a week. You know, one task. And... That's been, that's something that has really helped me. Uh, number two is making sure that I'm engaging in community. So if you have somebody on your mind, go ahead and call them first. A lot of times I am that person that I feel tempted to just stay in my home and well, now we have to stay in our homes, but you know, to not reach out, to wait for somebody to call me instead. And because it's like, shouldn't they know that I'm alone and they, I need to talk to somebody? And it's like, you know what, somebody, maybe that person is on your mind for you to talk to. So that's something that has been I've been challenged with. And oftentimes when I reach out to somebody, I'm encouraged and uh, as well as they are. So that's been helpful. Also, I have started an online course actually a week or two before I this all happened. So I've been actually having time to do that now. And that's been awesome because now, I mean, they have Facebook communities for this online course, and I've just been able to connect with people that way. And also there's amazing Instagram profiles of these arts organizations that are doing Facebook lives and Insta stories and where you can communicate with these, uh, with dan in dance classes, you can feel like you're part of a community and I've been really enjoying that and actually feeling more connected to organizations and people that share my same vision uh, than ever before. So definitely look into that. And I hope that that helps to connect you and also feel grounded and rested and not guilty for having to, you don't have to do all the things. Um, yeah, some things that really helped me just resting and preparing so I hope that helps you and if you have felt that this is a video that's been really helpful to you go ahead and like the video subscribe and uh, down in the link below I've always wanted to do this so yes I'm doing this so there's a link below uh, for you and go ahead and check out that link and uh, we have an amazing group called equip equipped creatives where we help you pursue your calling for the long haul with wellness tools and community. Also, there is a free guide that's called a creative's guide to healthy eating on a budget. And you can go ahead and check that out. It's free. Go ahead, grab that. And I hope that you have a great day. See you later. Bye.